My job is to provide the coaches with the best players possible using the teamwork that, that we've got and using this evaluation system that we've created. And most CFL teams have been doing these for years with tremendous success. Everybody that's here, you're competing everybody else that we've worked out and everybody else that's on our roster. All the guys that didn't get the call this last weekend, it is a team team effort. And you know, having guys like Neil McAvoy and Robert Alf and Coach Campbell and then the coaching staff, what I love, it's as a collective, I think we do an excellent job of uh, understanding what our philosophy is and moving forward with that and not uh, straying away from that. 10 minutes. I always say we bring in the right guys, not the best guys. And uh, you know, we want guys that fit in the locker room. Uh, off the field and uh, in NBC. And uh, if we can find those guys, we're going to be a winning program. All right, we got a small group today. That's good. We got some. A couple of guys we've seen before. Yeah, so once we get the admin side done, you know, the registration and everything, uh, we break things up, we test them. So they're going to do a 40 yard dash and a shuttle and, and uh, possibly a three cone, depending on which group we're working with. Okay. So if you guys get down into your stance and you flick an arm up or you pull up and then start running, I'm getting that first motion. Every time I do this, somebody starts slowing up at the 38 yard line. Okay, keep your eyes down, downfield, run through that 40. Okay, we're gonna do this twice. Okay, keep going. Your feet 45 degrees out to me, ever so slowly. Don't pull a hamstring or something like that. Put your hands on the deck and then just push forward as far as you can, slowly. What's unique about our field? What else? 15 yards wider too, right? 10 yards longer, end zones are 20 yards deep, right? We can run hitch and go from the one yard line if we wanted to. We don't, but, but we can. So some of these drills are more linebacker drills for a reason, okay? I need to see you guys open up and run. Shuffle, 45, 45. There you go, drop that hip, drop that hip. Good. So we get through all the testing. Uh, that's a small piece of the puzzle to me. Once we do that, we get an indie period where you're working out with, uh, with each uh, individual unit and you're putting them through the paces and doing indie stuff on both ends. And through that evaluation process, you start cutting down. And so uh, it's a filtering process where at the end of the day, you should have 10 or 15 guys on the field that have a good shot. And most CFL teams have been doing these for years with tremendous success. Adam Big Hill, Solomon L. Mimian, uh, TJ Lee, um, Ryan Phillips came to one of these uh, years and years ago. John Jennings, Alex Bazzi, Cameron Wake, uh, did, you know, came through this process. I mean, we, we've had Hall of Fame careers that have that have come through this uh, this type of evaluation process, and it's worked. It works. It's proven. Appreciate your work, man. Yeah. You worked your ass off today. That's right. Good job, man. What do you think? I, I got two other CFL workouts next weekend. I, buddy, I, I would hit them all. You're not competing against everybody out here. You're competing yeah. against everybody yeah, we've already looked at, yeah, but exactly. everybody that's draft eligible, all the free agents. Uh, the film was going to be the most important thing for sure. me because, again, even even if you're a great out here exactly. and your film wasn't good, yep. then it's over. You know, exactly. that's just how it is. You know, my job is to to find the players that are going to be the next Adam Big Hills and TJ Lees, and and so every year we're we're trying to find those players to come in and, and win a great cup. Everything, you're looking at body language, you're looking how they interact with everybody else, you're looking for the quarterbacks, what kind of leadership they show you. There you go, good placement. Here it is. Dude, he can rip it, dude. He's got an arm, I'm gonna sign Judd. Yeah. You guys good on that? Yeah, Judd came in and, and did really well, so I'd seen him at San Diego State's Pro Day, he threw the ball really well. Uh, he flew up here with a, another quarterback did as well. We had two that came in and, and really competed, but uh, Judd uh, really impressed uh, all the coaching staff and, and uh, the scouts, and we're going to go, Judd. I'm going to sign it. off your contract. I appreciate it. So um, I didn't want to celebrate in front of sure. everybody else, right? Yeah. So just kind of keep it down. Why don't you just hang out just a little bit? We'll get you a uh, contract and, and all that. Okay. So I'll okay. be here till Tuesday. My girlfriend lives out here, so we're going to go see oh, your family. Oh, you're and kidding. Hang out for, you know, a couple days. She's going to be a new season ticket holder. around here. Exactly. Her okay. parents, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. but we'll go, we'll go spend some time with her family uh, this afternoon and tomorrow, okay. and then flying back to San Diego. Okay. No, so. that's good, dude. I thought you threw the the ball today. I appreciate so, you. So, yeah, yes, absolutely. Sir. So, Thank you. okay, congratulations. Sounds Stay, good. stick around, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Got an uh, excellent ability. He's a good sized kid. He can really throw the ball. Excellent velocity, excellent accuracy. Um, carries himself very, very well. So, uh, we think he's going to be a great fit. Coming out here and finding a quarterback uh, is special.
you know, look, we've, we've got a good team, the, the Americans and the Canadians. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. You have to come in with the right mindset. If you don't do that, it's going to be a quick trip. If we had training camp here, we would just be running our operation as normal. It's logistically, you got to pack up the entire football team and move it, you know, four hours away. Um, we have like a hundred guys coming to camp, so. Every single one of these helmets. The more that we do it now, the less that we have to do later. Yeah. When rookie camp starts on Wednesday, we're gonna have a flood. It's just like a, it's like a store. Everyone's gonna come in, they're gonna try their pants on, they're gonna try their shoulder pads on, uh, and they're gonna try their helmets on. Uh, my job tells I'm assistant equipment manager. Uh, I've been in football since 2002 when I started at University of British Columbia. It, it's a really interesting kind of, kind of job. No two, no two days are the same. We just have to be prepared for any eventuality, anything like that, that might come along our way. Going, going to camp, uh, because we've been doing it so long, it is, it is a grind, the days are very long, but they are satisfying. And because we've been through it before, we know what to expect, so there's nothing out of the ordinary. When coaching staffs change, that's when little changes will come because every coach does things their way or want things done their way. Some coaches plan and program things down to the, the minute second and they use air horns and whistles to change periods, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but Coach Campbell doesn't, doesn't use the whistles, doesn't use a clock. And for me, that was a, a massive change. But this has been a, re a revelation, you know, Coach Campbell's modern that way um not old school uh, but he's getting getting results you know my third training camp it's my second year officially with the team kind of last year was it being my first year i kind of was just a, a passenger watching brent and watching aaron and how they did things and this year just taking a more uh advanced role in, in the operation of how we're doing things we're just loading up our new uh, repair trunk because we're gonna have a repair trunk for home games. That'll be this one at BC Place that we've been using for years. We've got an additional one we're gonna take on the road this year. That way we don't have to keep moving it around. So we're just building the contents at the moment before we go to Kamloops. Uh, everything from Sharpies to screwdrivers to screws, nuts and bolts, helmet parts. And it's not just, it's not just camp, it's the whole grind of the entire season. Like this is, it's, it's April, or I guess it's May now, and, and we're, we're working towards November. So this is all working towards that, that end goal. The majority of them are just an XL. This, is a medium. So that's a medium. And that's an XL. And you can see the difference in the two. It's quite substantial. So Mahomes wears what's called a visus. Menard wears a visus. So this is what, I don't think this is the exact model that Mahomes wears, but it's the same brand. Um, but they are big. They have tons of cushioning, but they are very, very comfortable for your head. What Lucky wears. And it is the most as bare bones basic cushioning that you get. And Lucky wears a large. Um, so there's been a few players in the NFL recently who wore that helmet. Like uh, Derek Carr comes to mind. He was wearing a Vices for, I think, half the season last year and then switch back to the, the shot XP. This is also what the quarterback of the New York Jets wears, Aaron Rodgers, shot XP.